Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to do another Sony Vegas tutorial, this time on how to do the target lock on effect. Uh, so yeah, first bring down your clip to the timeline. Okay, I'm going to take off my audio because I really don't need it. Alright, now you have your clip. Right now, find where you're going to have your shot, it doesn't matter where you are. Right before, really get a good look on the guy. Mine is going to be right here. Split your clip and save a snapshot. Save it to anywhere on your computer. It's going to show up up here. Spread your clip out so you have enough room to bring down your image. So now, whoop. Like, it's just going to freeze. So you just run that up by like two seconds and bring this in. Next, insert a new video track and bring down your target lock on effect to your timeline on the new track you selected. So now it's going to go from your clip and to black, which you don't want. So you're going to go to compositing mode and add. Now it goes onto your clip, but it's not in the right place. So what you're going to want to do is go to event pan and crop. Right, go to your middle, your middle of your clip so you can see where it is and move it to on the person you're shooting that should do for me and so now go from your shot into your target lock on effect if you want to make it look smoother or shorten it up or make it longer, you can do that as you wish by dragging that longer and that longer or holding control and adding, making that faster and making that faster. You can do all that. But that's how you do the target lock on effect. If you guys want to see videos similar to this one, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.